When I hear Energiewende, for me, it is not something that is just ecological. It is something that is logical, just logical. I think for me, the real significance of Energiewende is the concept of change and transformation. Change and big change might sound impossible when you start off at the beginning, but sounds inevitable when you finish. It means, really means transition to get energy. It means uh, new life for the people uh, where only 30% of them have access to electricity. So it is a great transformation if we are looking for uh, this uh, universal access for energy. A rapid transition to renewable energy uh, involving citizens. Ultimately, it's really about transitioning. You know, um, I think we're in a stage now where the future is coming and it's very clear. And we have to kind of slowly uh, let go of the old ways and just integrate into all the new. Energy transition, okay. For me, it means on a personal level, contributing, uh, acknowledging the fact that we are at a stage in the development of all our civilizations where if we do not change the way in which we consume and produce energy and make it more sustainable and make it safer, then we are actually putting our lives and the lives of our children and grandchildren at risk. We've seen policymakers make changes. They're starting to realize that renewable energy works. Energiewende to me is uh, the start of a, a vision of a new uh, possibilities to supply energy. We have a German word because we have German leadership on clean energy. A radical change of our energy system, more energy efficiency, more renewables, but also creating employment, jobs and growth for our countries. We still learn from Germany for energy transition. See, China have used much more coal than Germany. We need do more than Germany for their energy transition. Dynamics picking up. Germany is an inspiration, but Denmark is an inspiration. Portugal is an inspiration. Uh, we have now Lithuania, which is uh, also moving ahead, Sweden. So what we try to do is to get uh, all Europe to move together into what will be the future energy system. Our role is really to create the instruments, to create the market products, to integrate renewable energies. What I wanted to show with Solar Impulse is that renewable energies and clean technologies can achieve impossible goals, incredible targets, like flying around the world in a solar-powered airplane that flies with no fuel day and night. So it's clear that if we make it in the air, we can make it on the ground available for, for everybody. A lot of times the hardest thing is to let go of what you're used to and the fear of, okay, what happens if it doesn't work? So we ultimately just have to take that leapfrog ahead and just make it happen.